All right, good evening, everyone. We're back with a fresh edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. Hope you had a good weekend. The weather was, for the most part, really nice for a fair amount of the weekend. We, of course, had some rain to deal with on Sunday, late in the afternoon in particular. Thankfully, the severe weather threat did not really materialize. What did materialize, though, the temperature change. We told you this was coming, and here it is. We went from the uh, upper 70s during the afternoon on our Sunday to upper 30s at times today. A pretty huge uh, change, but this is the kind of change that can occur in this part of the country at this time of the year. It's not unique to Ohio. You know, the old joke about Ohio weather, you know, just wait 24 hours. Uh, If you don't like it, it'll change. Well, that, that can be applied to just about every state, especially in the Midwest and Ohio Valley in the Northeast where we have uh, kind of a real battle of the air masses frequently at this time of the year. Big 36-hour temperature drop, of course, but nowhere near the biggest on record. This is the list of biggest 36-hour temperature drops on record. Notice every date on this list is March and April. And the biggest 58 degrees, which occurred uh, from the 23rd through the 25th of March, 1966, and went from 75 to 17 in 36 hours back on that date. All right, so it's been uh, quite a run We had a nice little June preview, but we couldn't fully uh, install June this early. You knew we were going to pay the price at some point, but uh, we were at 83 Thursday, 86 on Friday, record highs both days, still 82 on Saturday, and well up into the 70s on Sunday. Today's high was just after midnight. Of course, we spent most of the day with temperatures in the lower 40s, even some upper 30s at times. And at times, we had a little grapple or soft hail mixed in with a couple of these rain showers, and I think as temperatures continue to drop, over the next several hours, snowflakes will be more and more common. Now, aside from maybe a random little coating on the grass or a car top in northern Trumbull and Mercer in particular, you know, this isn't re- going to really stick to anything tonight, but a little mood snow out there, certainly uh, not something a lot of us are that excited to see after our summer preview over the last several days. Uh, the really lousy weather today, partially, uh, we can partially blame it on this big uh, upper low, which is plainly... Uh, In view here on the water vapor imagery, this is pinwheeling around the Great Lakes. Unstable air beneath it means you get precipitation. The precipitation can get a little boost from the Great Lakes. And uh, voila, you've got a pretty crummy-looking weather pattern that will stick around into Tuesday. Tuesday is not going to be that much different than today. (laughs) A couple of snowflakes, especially in the morning and midday. Maybe a rain shower by the end of the afternoon. Now, up in northern uh, parts of Ohio in the snow belt, eastern Cuyahoga, Lake Geauga, Ashtabula, up into Erie County, PA, someone might get an inch or two worth of snow, especially on the grass, over the next 24 hours or so. But I don't think that'll occur in the WFMJ television viewing area. Um, again, maybe northern Trumbull, northern Mercy, get a little candy coating on the grass or a car top. But that should be about it. The clouds will clear out then, and that'll lead to a pretty good chance for some frost by Wednesday morning. The National Weather Service offices in Cleveland and Pittsburgh have declared that the uh, growing season has begun, so they will issue... Frost advisories, freeze warnings for any temperatures near freezing or below freezing when you have a good setup for frost formation. And I think we'll have that tomorrow night into Wednesday morning with the sky clearing. Some of the colder spots might get into the upper 20s. So if you got a little overzealous hanging out, uh, maybe uh, putting out some hanging baskets and that sort of thing over the last uh, few days, I can certainly understand why. But it's still pretty early in our our part of the country. So you'll want to uh, bring those in, protect them from the cold by Wednesday morning. And then we're going to get a break from the cold for a couple of days. Nice afternoon on Wednesday and with a warm front lifting off to the north. How's 80 degrees sound on Thursday? It'll be kind of like we just had, but it's going to be much more brief, this warming trend, this time around because we've got some big changes coming our way by the weekend. Here's the seven-day high temperature forecast. Look what happens over the weekend. We're going to head back to kind of what we're dealing with right now, I think, by Sunday. Raw, chilly, a lot of clouds, some showers around Saturday looks pretty damp, albeit fairly seasonable. I think we're going to be dealing with raindrops at times Saturday. Into Saturday night, parts of Sunday as well. And we haven't shown a map like this in a while. This is the 8-14 to day outlook, showing uh, pretty good odds of a below-average period, temperature-wise, for the latter uh, week, or the last week, I should say, of April. Once this colder pattern settles in next weekend, it probably has some staying power for at least a handful of days. It's not just a one- or two-day thing. Now, keep in mind, in late April, our average highs are in the mid-60s, not the mid-40s or anything. So you can have a below-average day with a high of 61 degrees in late April. So, you know, keep that in mind when we talk about below-average temperatures. doesn't mean we're in the deep freeze or anything like that at this time of the year. But I don't think we're going to see many 83-degree days coming up, with the exception of Thursday when we we can flirt with 80. 
Um, but uh, record warmth, mid 80s, that kind of thing. Uh, I think we're gonna have to wait till sometime in May for that. We'll take more looks at the longer range in future editions of Weather for Weather Geeks this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great rest of your Monday evening. I'll see you back here on Tuesday.